We are going to talk about how to graph a quadratic function now. So here are your steps. Number one, find the axis of symmetry. Do y'all recognize this? y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. That's our trinomial. So we are going to use this trinomial and find the axis of symmetry. You don't even need a graph to find it. You can use this formula. And this formula is also on our formula chart whenever we take our star test. So, if you look, here's our formula chart. We have the axis of symmetry. So it's not something you have to memorize. And also the standard form is there. So let's go ahead and find the axis of symmetry on this. We can see it, but I do want us to go ahead and find it using the formula. So label these A, B, and C. So our axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a. So we're going to plug in the numbers. This says negative b, but b is already negative. So if I say negative, negative, what does that actually mean? They cancel each other out. Negative, negative makes it a positive. So this is going to be positive 2 over 2 times a. What is the a? What's right in front? A one. Yeah, it's that invisible 1. 2 times 1. So this equals x equals 2 over 2. What is 2 over 2? 1. x equals 1. That's our axis of symmetry. So look at that axis of symmetry that's already drawn for us. It goes through 1. So we didn't need a graph to find it. We could just use the formula. But go ahead and make that dotted line a little darker. And the way to graph it is you use a table of values where you put your vertex in the middle. We're going to do just 5 points. So the vertex is starting at 1. All right, we've got to find the match, and then we've got to do the rest of the coordinates. So everybody go to y equals. Don't we already have this in? Was this the same one? How perfect was that? Okay, we hit graph. We already know what it looks like, right? But we want to go to the table now. So hit second graph for the table. We're going to go to our vertex. 1, write the match, 1, negative 4. And then we are going to go up to the next one. So 2, negative 3, and 3, 0. Then we're going to go the opposite way. So now I need to go to what's before 1. 0, and 0 matches with negative 3, and then the next one, negative 1, 0. So the axis of symmetry is what helps us find where our starting point is, which is going to be the middle of our table, and then you're able to write the rest of your coordinates from that. So let's look. Vertex is 1, negative 4, right? So let's go ahead and write that 1, negative 4. And then our y intercept, 0, negative 3. And then we have our x intercepts. That is at negative 1, 0, and 3, 0. Domain is how far left and right it goes. See these arrows going left and right? It's going to go forever to infinity. 
So we can write all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. I like to write it like this, with that R with the extra line on it. X is all real numbers. And then our range comes from how far low to high, remember? How far down does it go? Negative 4, and how far up does it go? Infinity. So y is going to be greater than or equal to negative 4. We're going to see this more, but this is your first time seeing it. So we're going to keep these, finish them tomorrow.